Hey guys, so today what we're going to be doing is using steganography and encryption to conceal other files inside a video file. So I've downloaded a short little clip of a dog for this example here, and we're going to be using what's called ZuluCrypt, and I'm going to be using that for the demo. So we have ZuluCrypt open, and the first thing we're going to do is turn this phone sideways because I can't see it. <laughs> and then what we're going to do... We're going to create a container inside an existing video file. And I have a video file right here. Let's see where we got that. Here we go. Dog. We're creating a we have to, one thing you want to keep in mind is the offset. You're going to need that to unlock your file. And the container size I'm going to make for this small example, I'm going to make it relatively small. I'm going to make it 50 megabytes. Now say we have our cryptocurrency private keys and other types of private keys and access codes to important things in our, you know, possibly investments and whatnot. You really want to keep those things safe and say Lux encryption, you know, you, you trust it, but the issue there is if you've already unlocked the volume, well, you're going to have a bit of an issue if somebody steals your phone while it's unlocked already. So this allows you to create an additional layer of concealment and security. So it's using steganography and we're using what's called DMcrypt method in order to make it a little more concealed on that end. So we're creating it. We got to keep in mind all our volume properties and especially that offset and password that we created. Now we're going to hit create. As you can see, it's creating. It has just created a plain DM encrypted volume. Created successfully. So now it has opened up this encrypted volume that is actually inside the video itself and you'll find the mount point is right here so if I open a terminal I'll be able to create new files in that spot first I'll write DF and that'll show me its mount point and now I'll just CD And we're going to go right inside there and you can actually move anything in it now that it's been un it's all been mounted and is accessible and writable by you now and then anytime you need to open it you'll just go to zulu crypt and you'll go to open and you'll do host it in a file and that'll allow you to then reopen it anytime you need to add files passwords crypto keys, anything else you need to add. Now, we'll go ahead and create a file. We'll do echo. And we're going to call the file file. And now let's take a look. Okay, as you can see, we have that newly created file. We could add our passwords, our crypto keys, our private crypto keys, and anything else that we need to keep extra safe. So it allows you to add an additional layer of encryption inside another file. The file will behave just like the video file that it was originally, so it'll play and everything else, so there's nothing to worry about there. So you have a great little option there for adding an extra secure placement. 
So that's how you do that. That's how you use Zulu Crypt to create a hidden steganography encrypted container inside another file. And so that's how you create an encrypted container inside another file using steganography and encryption using Zulu Crypt. A great option for anyone who needs to secure their banking information or possibly a journalist in a dangerous area where, you know, simple lux alone is not enough for their work. So that's what I got today, guys. Make sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.